All right, everybody, here's another project. I've got two smaller boats to do as fill-ins while I'm waiting for responses on the Ferris Cement sailboat. But this is a 2003 Jones Brothers 20-foot center console. And all I'm doing is pretty much scratching and shooting. It's got some gouges, so I'm going to sand it all, fair those spots, 545 it, and then I'll grip it. This isn't going to take me long, and uh, yeah, just to show you real quick. I mean, there's lots of scuffs. A lot of that stuff I'll be able to get out with solvents. And, you know, we got all these little gouges, a bunch of beat up spots up here. Pretty easy job. This won't take me no time and I'm pretty sure I can knock out this whole sequence in one video start to finish. So with that being said, my first step, I'm gonna remove all the stickers. I'm just gonna use a regular flat razor blade, solvent clean the adhesive off, do my wash scrub with the scotch brake and Comet, and then get to sanding. I'll start out with 120 grit, and then I'll glaze every spot I can find that's messed up sand those spots with 120 and get three coats 545 on it jump to the top coat prep so with that being said here we go little project taking off now I got all the stickers off and now it's time to use the good old 3M adhesive remover. The stuff works great for removing all the sticker residue left behind and you want to do this obviously before you do any sanding or cleaning. So 3M adhesive remover, here we go. See y'all soon. That's it, fellas. That's what we're looking for. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set up and wash scrub the boat with Comet and Scotch Brite and start the prep. So see y'all on the next step. All right, everybody, scrub time. Scotch Brite, Comet, water hose. I know I've covered this in every previous video I've done, but this is an extreme critical step in my opinion if you're wanting to tackle a job like this, prepping and painting your own skiff center console, sailboat, whatever. So I'm just gonna cover this step in every episode that I do. But all you wanna do, just like that, douse a little bit of Comet on there and get in the habit of scrubbing left to right. Doesn't really matter technically before priming because the primer will cover and hide most of the scratches and I'm sanding this whole thing with 120 anyway, but this ensures that you remove all wax and other contaminants before you start sanding and potentially driving those contaminants into your hull before prep. So, you know. This just gives you a clean surface to work from. So I just wanted to note that real quick. I'm gonna get to scrubbing and I'll pick back up when I start sanding later today. So here we go. I wanted to jump in real quick and just let y'all know that when using Comet for pre-scrub, do not allow the Comet to dry on the hull spend just as much time rinsing the comet residue off as you did scrubbing 
If you don't and residues left behind and you proceed with your sanding, well, you could potentially run into problems further along in the process. So I just wanted to jump in and note that real quick. I'm going to let her dry and I'm going to start sanding. So see y'all soon. All right, everybody. Time to sand. Got my 120 grit, my little dandy Dino Breed DA, and my air supply. So I'm going to sand the whole boat with 120 grit and then I'll clean it and jump into glazing. See y'all soon. All right, everybody, all fair time. This is a one-to-one -one epoxy filler, and I'm gonna go around and glaze every imperfection I can find. The reason I'm using this rather than a 3M premium filler is, well, I have a lot of working time with it. I don't have to keep mixing up and wasting product, and I can take my time and go around and locate everywhere that needs to be filled without worrying about this kicking, so. I'll do the first go with all fair and then tomorrow I'll quick sand it and I'll mix up the 3M premium filler and I'll be able to see quickly everywhere I need to glaze so I don't have to waste time and waste product. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this, put pink polka dots all over the boat and then that's going to be a wrap for today. And uh, I got to say, that's a pretty good day. I got a lot done. So anyhow, here we go. Glazing time. fellas all fair glazing is done now i've hit a stopping point until that stuff dries so anyhow that's going to be a wrap for today tomorrow i'll sand that glaze it again and i'll shoot the 545 tomorrow afternoon so this is what i meant by this is a quick project at least for me it is so real quick here we go just so y'all can see there was a lot more flaws in it than i thought there would be but it almost looks like somebody was weed eating next to it and slung a bunch of rocks up at it. That does happen. I've seen it happen before. So, anyhow, I got every imperfection I could find. And so there we go. I'll see you all tomorrow. All, all right, right, everybody. Day two, day to prime. 120 grit. I'm going to quickly sand everywhere I glazed yesterday and then I'm going to follow it up one more time with the 3M premium filler. Sand that, clean it, mask off and shoot. So this is a quick process. I'm going to get to sanding and I'll see you all after this step. All right. final glaze time as I stated before 3M premium filler now this stuff kicks really quick so only mix up a little bit at a time so you don't waste it and you need to move with it when you do uh, you only have a matter of minutes to work with it and 
actually you can sand it in about 10 to 15 minutes on the can it says sandable after 30 but like i said this stuff kicks really quick especially if you're working in the sun so i'm gonna go ahead and mix up two percent hardener to the amount that you use and uh yeah so now i'm gonna put like blue polka dots all over the boat sand that mask off and prime here we go Everybody, all the premium fill is dry, ready to sand. I relocated the boat due to wind, and as I get ready to mask off, I just figured it'd be easier to have it where there's no wind. So, anyhow, just as before, 120 grit. I'm gonna go around and sand all these spots real quick, and then I'm gonna blow wipe it, mask off, solvent clean, and spray the 545. So, here we go, let's get her done. All the sand is done. Now I'm gonna blow wipe it to remove all the dust and debris. All right, here we go. All right, so blow wiped off. Now I'm gonna tape and mask off. Waterline rub rail, then plastic over the deck. Here we go. All right, everybody, I got it masked off. What a pain. Go figure, as soon as you start wrapping the boat with plastic, the wind picks up. Now it's starting to die down. But anyhow, good old denatured alcohol. Gonna do my solvent wipe, mix up the 545 and get the spraying. So here we go. All right, everybody, prime time. Got all grips 545. Got my good old handy dandy 3M Aki spray gun. And we're gonna get this done. So for those that don't know, 545 is a one-to-one -one mix. And you add up to 25% thinner after allowing the two to induct for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it, let it induct, thin it, throw it in the gun, start shooting. I'm going to time lapse all of this and here we go. Let's get it done. All right guys, coat number one. Number two. Third and final coat is looking pretty good. Let's get it done.
right, everybody, that's a wrap. Three coats and done. Looks pretty good, and personally, I like the gray better than the green. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and unmask it now. I'm gonna time lapse this, and I'll catch up with y'all once it's all done. So let's get her done. everybody that's a wrap I like it better gray than it is green so you know obviously the finish color is going to be grainy once it the way it was I can't remember if it's forest or jade mist but I'll find out soon enough but anyhow another productive day that's going to end my week it's Friday so this will have all weekend to cure and when I come back Monday I'll just do a quick walk around with the 3m acrylic filler Make sure there isn't any fine imperfections, you know, possible pinholes or light scratches, etc. And I'll jump into finish sand mode, 220, 320, Scotch braid equivalent to 400, and uh, get her sprayed. This job's going extremely fast, but I knew it would. You know, these smaller boats I really enjoy doing. It's, uh, it's just easy, you know, so anyhow. With that being said, thank God it's Friday, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all on the next step. All right.